Guys, what changed in the second half? They started out seven of seven. Um, and yeah, in the second half, and then they went cold. It seemed like you guys went to a one three one. What changed, and what? Why was that effective? Um, we just weren't playing like we were capable of. Um, we had a good week of practice um, leading up to today, and with a lot of intensity. And, um, we had different guys step up. Um, people came in, um, played their roles, um, and just were more aggressive, more of a, an aggressive mentality on defense, challenging shots harder, and um, cracking guys on box outs and um, getting out and running. Um, our defense creates our offense, but um, so we just we just and we just turned up our intensity. Pete. Troy, the uh, offensive rebound was pushed in the second half, and that's in a lot of ways what we key it. What was the emphasis for that? So OGs? Yeah, the offensive rebound. Yeah, I mean, yeah, all, all, everybody's, everybody's offensive rebound. Well, I'm going to key on that one. Uh, that that really sparked the game. Um, OGs, I mean, they took us three tries. I think I took like two shots in that possession, too. And OG grabbed the rebound, rolled it right back up, and dunked it, and that just sparked us. That was like the main, uh, that should be play the game right there. Next question. You guys down 16, I think, twice. What was the mentality at, at that point, especially in the second half when the clock is getting pretty deep into the game and you're down 16? Um, I think <clears throat> um, being in that situation before, you know, you never want to um, look back on the past and, and not be able to grow. So um, when we were in that situation, you know, guys like Yogi and Troy, they just brought us together and um, we basically um, took that lead and uh, we came together. Do the things that we need to do to um, be able to get a win. Troy, can, can a win like this kind of make up for some of the losses that you can have? I would say no. I mean, because there's still L's to us. Uh, I mean, but this is a great, it's a, it's a step forward to the future. You know, uh, yeah, I won my game before Big Ten starts, and it's just a step forward. Just, I guess, for any of you guys, you talked about sort of playing sustained zone. Was it? Almost, did you feel like you grew? You grew into it a little bit. It seemed like you were in it for several, several minutes there, just committing to the zone. Did that maybe help you guys get more comfortable with it as the second half wore on? Um, we figured out rotations uh, better as um, as the game went on, and the longer we were in it, um, got a lot of guys were stepping up, and um, our communication got better as the game went on, uh, which is a big part of our defense, knowing rotations, knowing who's guarding who, and um, just being aggressive. Still, it's still somewhat. You still have to guard a guy. You have to keep him out of the lane. Um, it's just a mentality. Was it a different zone than you guys had played earlier, earlier this year, than, and, and especially in Maui? Was it a different? We were just, we were just in two, three, kind of rotating. It was the rotations that the um, that and the communication and everything that might have made it look different. Um, but we did a great job of talking and um, just moving, just moving and being active. Colin is the only uh, hometown kid out there. Just how much pride do you take in this game, you know, knowing that it's against another state school? Oh, uh, I mean, a lot, uh, as I should every game. Um, but it's in state, and um, all these guys are a part of this now, and um, they should take it just as impactful. Um, all these guys, I mean, I grew up playing against a lot of these guys, <coughs> so it means a lot because I know them on a personal level. Um, but these guys understand. Um, the level that we need to come in to play every single game. So, I mean, it's another game, but we did. We did come in with the right mentality. Robert, I know you came in a little bit banged up to have the type of game that you had. Was it just adrenaline for you, or? Um, I guess you could say that. Um, I just, you know, tried to help the team any way I could. Um, and my ankle was tightening up a little bit. Um, but Tim Gar, you know, he did a good job of keeping me loose when I was out of the game and things like that. So. Uh, it was really really bothered me that much when I was in the game. Did you get a sense maybe that they lost their legs in the last six, seven minutes? <coughs> um, we've been really focusing on um, being aggressive on defense because um, that creates our offense. Um, it's hard to get the ball and get out and run and, and wear a team down. But our deep guys step up and stuff and off the bench and coming in and give us fresh legs. Um, but we can't do that if we don't get stops and don't get steals and deflections. Uh, the ball's going in the hole every time. It's hard to go against a set defense and get out and run entire teams down. So um, it really started with our defense. And um, we knew if we kept running and kept running, they couldn't do it all game. At the same time, I guess, maybe to that point, did you feel like they were deliberately slowing things down early in the game? And you, it seemed like, if they were anyway, that 
they kind of lost the ability to do that as the second half wore on, that they couldn't keep the pace down where they wanted it. Is that fair to say? But one thing we talked about was just keeping, trying to pick up the pace and keep a, a fast pace all the way throughout the game. Um, that's something the coaches told us. Uh, at times, we're, we're going to try to slow down the game. Um, but at that point, we wanted to press up and uh, pick up full court and push the ball out just so that we could continue that pace. Robert Troy said this was a step forward. You feel like it's a step forward? And if so, how so? I, yeah, I definitely think it was a building block for us. Um, just for the simple fact that, um, you know, we've been in this situation before where we went down at certain points of the game. I think we were down about 14 in the second half, and there's probably some people at home that turn the game off. But, um, you know, we just came together and um, to be in that situation and come out with a win was good for us. How big was the comp any of you guys? How big was the, what OG gave you down the stretch as the minutes he gave? And as guys that have been in that position before, how much confidence can it give a freshman to, to come in a spot like that and perform? Uh, that was a great play. Like I said earlier, um, I mean, just <coughs> a play like that after, after a possession like that is just, it's just huge. It turns out the whole game. It, gives, it lifts us up. It puts the other team down. And, I mean, like I said before, it should be the play of the game. And just to piggyback off that, um, even more than that play, he pretty much played with energy the whole time. He was out there. Um, he was crashing the boards. Uh, we put him on different guys. Um, we put him on coast, and when he was getting hot, and he was able to get out there and get a couple stops and rebounds. So uh, we were proud of the energy that he was able to bring. Okay. Anything else? A couple notes. Uh, the scoring run to finish the game was 40 to 17 when we were down.